here in this neighborhood near Tecolote Canyon. Neighbors say this street here, Via Las Cumbres, is extremely dangerous. They want to see the city do something about it. We want to leave and try to pull out. We're kind of taking our life in our hands. Tom McCullough tells me this intersection here at Via Las Cumbres in Caminito del Cervato has a blind spot, making it very hard to see oncoming cars. Well, it's scary because you never know for sure, even though there's the mirror, it's kind of dirty half the time and kind of hard to see. And you also have the cars coming from the other direction. Neighbors say cars on this road often travel too fast. There is a barrage of cars that drive way over this speed limit of 25 that we see here. And they pointed out to me another intersection at Via Las Cumbres and Caminito Listo, where cars come barreling down the hill, making it unsafe for people to cross. I do fear for many people with babies strollers, older people, there are elderly in the neighborhood and they walk very slowly. Christian Tordahl lives on the corner and he says they've had a number of accidents here in recent years. There was a van that flipped over on this side and hit a parked car. There was another car that over here that went sideways into my car, which was parked. And there was another car that came barreling down here sometime in the middle of the night up onto this sidewalk, knock down the side, the stop sign into my driveway. They've been begging the city of San Diego for traffic calming measures for several years now. I hope that we get speed bumps put in, and if not that, then at least stop signs. I reached out to the city's transportation department, and they say a traffic study was done here in 2020. And this stretch of road qualified for traffic calming signs that show your speed like this one you see here. But it didn't meet the criteria for stop signs, apparently. Either way, the project has been on the unfunded list ever since. It's just really frustrating because this is a community that means a lot to us, and it just feels like our requests are falling on deaf ears. I also reached out to the Linda Vista Planning Group to see if they'll consider hearing this issue at their upcoming meeting on July 25th. Working for you, I'm Brian White for CBS 8. And don't forget here at CBS 8, we are working for you. If there's an issue you would like us to look into, email us at workingforyou at cbs8.com.